after giving a sharp plunge with the market open today and which took previous crude below 64 it has retraced nicely and at the morning update it has got till towards 69.5 levels but then retraced again so now what to expect when us crude and at the same time net gas also net gas again at the crucial support at 2.2 which position you should take trading crude oil and net gas we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the daily market updates you can also do so by joining my free telegram channel where you get the live updates link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first we'll look into us crude followed with dow uh, net gas do watch till the end now first on the hourly charts if you look at it is trading in a very narrow range see this candle is specifically more important it is a long tail and with that as tail there is a potential retracement which can be hence above 69.5 anyways we are going to look at a rise also if you look at hourly charts here also it is showing a reversal hence i will recommend you to buy here at 68 point rather i will say 69 levels itself you can buy but then 69.5 and then beyond that 70 these two levels it needs to break pass by and then certainly we are going to look at 72 levels in us crude the stock has to get bottom macd is bullish here trying to diverge more rsi has come out of the oversold zone and if you look at the two hour, now see there is a contraindication on the two hour charts there is a resistance here at 69.5 there is a reversal sign on the two hour charts one red candle trying to get the support trying to bounce back and hence the sell entry is only below 68.2 below 68.2 you can sell expect that we might see 67.2 and then 66 65 levels so you can sell here at 68.2 levels and expect it to drop more and on the upside now wait for it to break past 69 levels you can buy there but then 69.5 it needs to break past by in order to confirm a rise the stock stick was overbought looking down at the same time look at macd it is it has crossed over at bottom it has started to diverge and see this is a strong streak long streak it has gone below minus 100 and it is trying to recover here rsi was also oversold it has come out of the oversold zone and on the 3 hour charts similar is the observation now see uh, here you can see this and you can take this as a uh, glass of champagne when you say that this is the handle where you you just hold it and see this is the first side this is the second side possible and hence a little retracement cannot be denied how far it can retrace that is something you should wait for it to uh, reflect but if you connect this dot this is still expanding this is still bearish on the upside you can buy here at 69.5 also see you can buy at 69 but then 69.5 very good resistance and then above that if it breaks past by look forward to 70 72 levels at the next resistance zone the stock i think is overbought here on the 3 hour charts hence you should be cautious of this macd is at bottom trying to converge cross over for a buy rsi was oversold trying to come out of the oversold zone and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts see a higher highs and lower lows pivot there at around 69 if it breaks past 69 more bullishness and then 69.5 wait for it to break past by certainly 70 72 po, 70.2 and then 71.2 and 72 levels will be the next targets it can it has the potential to rise till 72 also the stock has stick overbought macd is at bottom and it is trying to converge cross over there could be a possibility of a rise see this this was the previous crash and there was a strong reversal this is the second crash there could be a reversal a stock rsi is still oversold and it is trying to come out of it now look at the most important one the daily charts now see on the daily charts two red candles in succession trading outside bollinger bands it has got a very good pull when that is what one should note and still it is trading at the verge of the bollinger bands and the bollinger bands are situated at 68.8 look at candle size a smaller the size indicates that the bearishness has diminished so possibly if it rises to it tries to rise from here 69.570 levels certainly 72 and a plus plus levels cannot be denied a stock has to get bottom macd is still divergent and bearish looking down rsi is also at oversold levels considering this i will recommend you to buy at 69 and sell at 68.2 in between this do not take any trade on the downside 67.2 66 levels are the next target on the upside till 70 it has got very good resistance and beyond that we are going to look at 70.2 72 levels take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at net gas and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading profitably join my mentorship batch so 22nd batch starts on first week of june register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description 
Now look at net gas on the hourly charts 2.15, 2.16 levels. Retracement, lower highs, that is where you should then again consolidation. Now trying to reverse again. It appears once it stays about 2.25 levels, you can buy again. Expect it to break past 2.28 and 2.3. These two levels it has to break past by in order to confirm the rise. Now see the rise here, double bottom and you can see consolidation now again trying to reverse and hence 2.25 you can buy again. A stochastic at bottom trying to rise, MACD is in green looking upwards, RSI is also trying to show some strength trying to look upwards and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts you can clearly see this is trying to end in doji lower highs lower lows expanding move here and hence any rise beyond 2.25 certainly you should buy. A stochastic coming out of the worst bot zone. MACD crossing over here at the bottom trying to trade with divergence trying to trade bullish it is coming at a lower levels and hence there could be a pullback. RSI is also near to bottom. Likewise on the 3R chart similar is the observation nothing different. I will not repeat it. The stochastic overbought looking down. MACD crossing over here at bottom trying to diverge a little. RSI at bottom and if you look at 4R charts. On the 4 hour charts, likewise, you can see this expansion. Certainly, 2.24, 2.25 levels you can buy. A stochastic looking up, MACD at bottom trying to converge crossover for a buy. Here it is extremely oversold and hence potential rise cannot be denied. RSI comfortable. Now, look at the most important at the daily charts. I have already told you triple bottom, higher lows, higher highs from here. Any rise beyond 2.25, just stay long. We are going to look at 2.283 levels. 2.23, once it breaks, it is going to be considered for a reversal and we are going to look forward to a rise. Remember, I will not be bearish till the time it stays about 2.06 levels. Take your trades accordingly. Sell at 2.18, buy at 2.24. Do not trade in between. On the upside, 2.28, 2.3 levels you should watch out for. On the downside, you should wait for it to break past 2.15, 2.1 and then below 2.15 anyways it is going to trade more bearish so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you